Hey, welcome back to Sujin's Burning and Learning Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some banana bread with no milk or butter. It's going to be very low in cholesterol, has some extra flaxseed in it to give you some fiber, and you can even make this without eggs using more flaxseed. Very healthy, great way to use up your bananas. Are you ready? Let's get started. You're going to need six eggs, five cups of flour, one and one fourth cup brown sugar, one cup olive oil, one fourth cup flaxseed. We have two tablespoons of vanilla. We have two tablespoons of powdered, oh, excuse me, of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of baking soda. I have eight, as you can see, bananas ready for banana bread. Now we're going to start off by taking our baking powder and our flour and just mix it all together by hand. And then I'll show you a great way for the kids to help in the kitchen with the bananas. Now right now too, we're also gonna take the cinnamon. We're gonna throw that in the flour too. And just mix it up, get in there and get all personal with your flour. All right, now this is done. I'm gonna show you what the kids can do. All right, what I'm doing, so you can keep the little ones busy, is I'm peeling all the bananas and I am putting them in a bag, which is great if you have extra bananas, like I'm going to here in a little bit, that you can freeze them. And when you freeze your bananas, when you unfreeze them, there there is going to be a lot of the syrup from the frozen banana as it thaws out, because there is water in the banana. So don't dump that out. Put it into your banana bread. It works just fine. But see, when you have little ones that want to help in the kitchen and like to get their hands and stuff, you know, we can't always accommodate. But with this, you can. You just take all the bananas. Almost done here. And I see a little one walking into my kitchen right now. Kind of ish big. <laughs> <laughs> little ish one is video. And as you take it, you want to make sure it's really good and zip locked. You want the air almost out of it. Ah! <laughs> Hard to close with banana fingers. Are you are you allowed to cook with them good? When you cook with bananas that aren't brown, the banana bread isn't as sweet. That's a really good question. But anyways, you hand your bag over and you say, mash the nanas. Mash the nanas. <laughs> okay. While he's mashing the nanas, hang on, see how much air we got in here? That won't be good. Well, while the monkey's mushing the bananas, we're going to get started on the wet ingredients. <laughs> I'm going to get my mixer locked in and we're going to get going. I'm going to dump in all six eggs. The flat seed. The vanilla. We're going to slowly add in the powdered sugar. see we needed to open it up and get it going and uh, get the flaxseed in there it gets all light and frothy okay let's add in now the oil okay, back, up. back up alrighty we're gonna get that mix in now we're gonna slowly add in the flour half a cup at a time Oh, I need a different type of measuring cup. I can fit in my mixer better. Wow, look at those bananas. They're perfectly mashed. They're ready to go. Now this is going to get very thick in here, but that's okay. You can just turn your mixer up a little bit. We don't want to have our dough flying. 
because it's going to be a thick batter. But don't worry, it's going to be so light and fluffy because of the flaxseed in there. Just keep adding it until all your flour is in there. We're just gonna hang on. We don't want to. We're just gonna cut the end of our bag, and we're just gonna let it all ooze in there. Now your batter is gonna be really, really thick until the bananas get in there. We're just gonna squirt all the bananas in there. Smells so good. We're gonna turn our mixer back on. Get all the bananas out of the bag, all nice and mushed up in there. Bring up my mixer and scrape it because you want to scrape it because this is going to be a thick batter, but it's going to be light and fluffy. Believe it or not, your bread's going to be so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. You can just smell it now. You can see there is a little bit of lumpy dough because of it's sticking and we're going to bring it up again and mix it again. You can see, oh wow, because the dough is very heavy because we are not adding milk. It's just the oil. What happens if we do add milk? Well this is for people who can't have milk or butter because of food allergies. And it's just a very thick batter. You can also make pancakes with this if you don't want to do banana bread. Alrighty. For breakfast. Yep. <laughs> because we have neighbors we can give this to. And then I take a ladle because it makes it so much easier to pour out. And I fill them up. And it'll bake about 375, 350. How long? For just about a half an hour. Check your bread. It can range anywhere, whoop, depending on your oven. <coughs> sometimes an hour, sometimes half an hour, sometimes 45 minutes. But this is why we check. All right, I'm going to fill these and then we're going to get them in the oven. When you run into where you have one and you can't fill it right, just go in and scoop out a little bit to make them all even from the other ones. That one has a lot. As my daughter pointed out, this one has too much. So we're going to take it and we're going to put it in this one. Now they're all about even. We're gonna scrape the scraper and then we'll be good to go. A little bit more back in here. Alrighty, well we'll see you guys in about a half an hour. Alright, as you can see these are kind of dark loaves. The darkness is from the flaxseed. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you checking the bread. Um, my battery died. So the bread's done, it's cut, it looks so good. You can see it's beautiful, light, and fluffy. And, uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> you can't even tell that there's no milk in this. Mm. And no nuts. Now, Mm. <laughs> if you're used to a really sweet bread, this bread isn't for you because I don't use a lot of sugar in it because... Oh, you can taste the banana. And man, can you taste the banana. Well, this is for my friend Julie. He's having a few issues with allergies right now. Here's an awesome banana bread with no milk and no nuts. And to anyone else who has allergies, enjoy. <laughs> 